everybody, Jason here from Ghostbusters News, and today we are back, finally, with another installment of Ghostbusters News Fan Mail. And before we get into this installment's unboxings, all the packages, the letters, as a reminder, if you happen to have anything you would like to send in to the Ghostbusters News headquarters, we got a mailing address, and it is down below in this video's description. Now, first up here, we're going to start with a box that is a, a little dinged up. Uh, this was sent in by CryptoBat. And I know that CryptoBat, they make some rather nice looking custom Lego minifigures, as well as resin figures. And what did we get in this fan mail? Well, a couple of uh, those resin ghouls. And first up here, we've got this ectoplasmic green trapper keeper. This is such a fun design. Pretty much it is a Kenner real Ghostbuster style ghost trap. However, it's been inhabited by a ghost. The foot pedals down at the bottom there. The trap doors are open, exposing a big tongue, teeth. We have eyes up top. Pretty much a possessed ghost trap, or I guess a mimic ghost trap. Really cool, but this one, it was not sent alone, as also inside the box, check this one out. And hopefully the detail on this one, as well as that ghost trap, they're coming through on camera because, yeah, the sculpt here looks so great. We got a big hook there coming out of the shark's mouth, a tombstone protruding out of its backside. And yeah, this concept, it was pretty much inspired, or should I say based on, some of the early concept art for the 2009 Ghostbusters the video game. Now if you would like to grab either of these, they are currently on sale through CryptoBats online store. A link to it is down below. Up next, an envelope, and this is from Burnett in Victoria, Minnesota. And I love the stickers here on this envelope. We have Moogly, also the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, looking a bit more blinged out. And there's a letter inside and it reads, Hi Jason, my name is Sawyer. So yeah, this is from Sawyer. I'm eight years old, I wanted to give this to you. And what did he want to give? Well, on the other side of the paper here, we've got this awesome drawing of Muncher. And then Sawyer also sent in some digital codes for both Ghostbusters Afterlife and Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. It's not like I need these movies on yet another digital device, but uh, I'll certainly take these. Sawyer, thank you so much. Moving on, we got a pretty big package here, and this is from Jackson Petty in New Jersey. Ooh, and there are some goodies inside it looks like, but uh, yeah, first, the letter. And it reads, hello Jason, I'm a big fan of Ghostbusters, I am Jackson Petty, and I am an honorary Ghostbuster of New Jersey. I love Ghostbusters, I love you, thank you, and I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. And Jackson sent in this awesome photo of him in a Ghostbusters uniform, you can see he's rocking the Proton Pack there. And clearly that's a party, I'm guessing maybe Jackson's birthday party? And keeping with this whole party motif, also sent in was this. A DIY Happy Birthday Ghostbusters banner. You already saw the Ghostbusters logo there, but also here each of the letter has this slime design. Jackson, this is really cool, and I thank you so much for sending it in. Another letter here, and this says it's from Will F. All right, and in here, definitely some art, and I'm gonna guess this is also a letter. Hi Jason, my boys Stefan and Jesse love watching Ghostbusters news with me every night before bed. <laughs> My heart. They love the mailbag episodes and getting to see all the cool stuff that gets sent to you. Stefan especially loves Slimer and wanted me to send you this drawing. Thanks for all the great videos and keep up the awesome work. Well, hopefully both of you, you're watching this video. I do want to thank you for, of course, watching Ghostbusters news. And yeah, this drawing of the disgusting little spud Slimer here, it looks great. Now we've got a package from James Crossman from San Diego, California. And I know James, he's a member of the San Diego Ghostbusters. And he has sent in here a couple of the photos from the recent Ghostbusters fan gathering that took place at this year's San Diego Comic-Con. Organized by the crew over at the San Diego Ghostbusters, I certainly thank James for sending this in, uh, showing us just how big of a success this gathering was. And we did hype up that photo shoot over on GhostbustersNews.com, letting everybody know in the area that they should, uh, you know, make the hike out and take part in it. And as a thank you, I was sent a couple of extra goodies here. This was from the Hasbro booth at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, you'll see right here we've got this Ghostbusters HasLab button. Of course, this is promoting the upcoming Ghostbusters HasLab from Hasbro Pulse that uh, may or may not be an Ecto-1 or an Ecto-1A. In addition to that button was this really cool looking HasLab patch. James, I totally cherish these. I'm so happy to add them into the collection. Continuing on, we've now got a little envelope here 
from Levi. And what did Levi send in? Well, he sent me a letter that is many pages long. I'm gonna have to sit down with uh, a nice coffee and go through this. I thank you so much. As well, we also sent in some great fan art here. Uh, right now, you're taking a look at uh, the Keymaster Lewis Tully. Ghastly ghouls like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Then there is my favorite gruesome twosome, the Scolari Brothers. I love the fact he also included an electric chair. There's also a drawing here of the Sedgwick Hotel's most unwanted guest, Slimer, who has left Peter Venkman in a puddle. And speaking of the Ghostbusters themselves, right here, another drawing of Peter Venkman. Then Ray Stance, I think the Proton Pack looks great. Love the fact he also included the Ecto Goggles. The brains of the Ghostbusters, Dr. Egon Spangler, and you cannot forget about the one, the only, Winston Zedmore. And as one final surprise here, this really nice vinyl sticker of the Ghostbusters. Up next, this was sent in by the Toronto Ghostbusters. And inside of here, we have got um, no, no note. However, there is a Toronto Ghostbusters patch. It's Moogly, it's the Ghostbusters logo. It's what we all know and love. However, in the front, the Toronto skyline. There's the CN Tower, the Sky Dome. Yes, I know it's the Rogers Center now, but I will always call it the Sky Dome. I mean, come on, Hulk Hogan, the Ultimate Warrior, WrestleMania VI, history was made right there. Now we have got a letter from Dylan, as well as a goodie, and we're gonna get to that goodie right here in a second. But first, this reads, Dear Ghostbusters News, Hi, my name is Dylan, and I just got into Ghostbusters about three months ago. Dylan, welcome aboard. He says that he has sent me a custom Proton Pack for my Lego minifigures. This is that custom Proton Pack. Really cool design here. We've got the Neutrono Wand or the Neutrono Gun on the left-hand side, as well, very much like the real Ghostbusters, an attached ghost trap. Looks so great, Dylan. I thank you for this one. Continuing on, I know there's a lot to get to today. This is from Tyler Anderson, and he's from Fishkill, New York. Fishkill? That, that's, that, that's a name? That, I've never heard of that before. Now, strangely, there was no note inside. However, there was this picture of a modified Proton Pack. And then there is some fan art as well, including this one of the Positron Pack. Definitely taking inspiration from the 2009 Ghostbusters video game. I love where you can actually see it's pumping slime through it. As well, another piece of fan art here, the Slime Blower Mach 3. It goes heavy on the caution striping as well. Uh, they even included a gas mask hose, very much like the Spangler Proton Pack from Ghostbusters Afterlife. Up next, this is from Aaron, and he is located in Houston, Texas. Now, it looks like there is a lot of fan art with this one, uh, as well as a photo. In fact, let's go ahead and put that up on your screen right now. Here is Aaron alongside Ernie Hudson, and there is a letter that reads, Dear Jason, my name is Aaron. I am six years old. I love watching all of your videos on YouTube. He goes on to write, Because I love everything Ghostbusters, my dad even converted my mother's SUV into an Ecto-1. In fact, that Ecto, it has its own Instagram account. If you'd like to check it out, we have a link to it down below in the description. And Aaron sent in quite a bit of fan art, so much so I don't know if I can feature it all in this video, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorites, including this one right here of the Ecto-1. And also a recreation of the Starbucks logo, but starring Louis Tully. Coffee? Yes, have some. Yes, have some. Now the last piece of fan mail here today, I don't actually have it already like in a box or in a package because as soon as it arrived, I had to tear it open because I knew it was inside of it. I was told beforehand and I was really, really excited for it. You see, previously here on the channel, we took a look at this, an LED raise a cult sign that was made by 8th Logistics. And I think this looks so good. I love having it here in the Ghostbusters News Collection Studio, tying the room together, making it feel kind of like a dank occult bookstore. And 8th Logistics, they did not stop there because recently they started offering up yet another light up sign based on Ray's Occult. And uh, I mean, just, just check this out. I mean, the first one is based on the sign that you see in the window. However, this is the actual Ray's Occult sign, just, you know, shrunken down a little bit. And this would look great just the way it is. I mean, just on display. However, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Let's light it up.
Now, if you would like to grab one of these signs for your collection, they are currently on sale through 8th Logistics. We've got their shop link also down below in this video's description. With that said, that's all I've got for you for this one. A huge thank you goes out to everyone that was featured on this installment of Ghostbusters News Fan Mail. As I said at the top of the video, if you yourself happen to have anything you would like to send into the studio, we've got that mailing address, and uh, yeah, you know the details are below. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. If you'd like to join up with us, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is also down below, and we'll see you right back here next time. <laughs>